Hi, and welcome to Lunch with Art at the Ely House Museum. And for Women's History Month, we want to talk to a local community activist and minister, Reverend Margaret Lester. And we'll be talking to her about her, her accomplishments and about some of the things she's done for some of the homeowners associations in this area. So, Reverend Lester, uh, first tell us about where you were born, just a little bit about you, your background, your family. Okay, I was born in Florida, Florida, which is North Florida. And I have seven brothers and sisters. I had a mother that was a true activist, became a nurse, raised us, taught us not to hate, love God, trust, but always be aware of your surroundings. Since it's a Women's History Month, I want to talk a little bit about the program called Unstoppable Women. Can you tell us about that and some of the people who have been on it in the Unstoppable Women? Well, our vice mayor, Beverly Perkins, she thought of women who had contributed a lot in this community but never be recognized. Mm -hmm. And last year, she got with uh, a group of ladies in the capitals and they did the first, uh, what they would do, they were called women, that they knew had did things that had not been recognized and get five books about them. Mm -hmm. Then they would all uh, put their pictures on a postal card with these books at Apollo Park. They take them and line them up from by the library all the way around. And they have a stage that the ladies come and stand on. Okay. Could some of the, who are some of the people that have been honored with that? Uh, some of the people they want to have up there is Miss uh, Marguerite Lustler. <laughs> they had uh, <laughs> Reverend, <laughs> Reverend Marguerite <laughs> Lustler. <laughs> and they had Emma Ellerton. Now, who Miss Ellerton was? Emma Ellerton. Mm -hmm. She is a, a true activist in the community, too. She used to be. A council out of Coconut Creek. Okay, okay. Then they had people like Miss uh, Inez Black, Miss Chatty Reed. Uh, Miss Black, let's see, let's see. who was Miss Black? Miss Inez Black was one of the first women that organized to drive black children in the school. Okay. And there was three of them Chatty Reed, Inez Black, and Sister Delia. Oh, so all of them were for organizing? They, they was the one they organized among themselves. And if they would give them a bus, they would make sure that the children got to school. So they drove children from everywhere, from Deerfield, Oakland Park, around. And they didn't have like police and all, because they were the police. If you did something wrong on the bus, they just stopped, give you what you needed, and you went on about your business. The other thing was they got uh, like Miss Miller. Ms. Miller was from Nassau. Mm -hmm. She uh, used to, this, the Episcopal Church over here, they had to build that church. So Ms. Miller, she would put the basket on top of here, go around and sell things. And she was one of the unsung heroes of the community. You had, <coughs> you had Ms. Falls, which is the mother of Ms. Ally. Mm. And, uh, you know, they contributed to the to hear. So you have a lot of unstoppable women out there. And this is something, is unstoppable women something they're going to have every year or? Yes. Okay. That's great. That's great. And then we do the uh, unsung heroes. And tell Those us a little about, yeah, that. tell us a little, tell us a little about the unsung heroes. Where The unsung heroes is people that have done something in the community, which is male and female. Mm -hmm. And then they would take them, they get their history, study their background. Then if they qualify, we put their name on the papers that is on the black statue in front of EPAT lockers. And that's what we call a lot of unsung heroes. What we are trying to do is recognize the people in the community so that our children would have somebody to know. Because all of the buildings and things that was here mm -hmm. that would recognize us is gone. The only thing left now is down on the south side of Hamlinville Road, mm -hmm. that little area in there. That's all the business that we have okay. left. 
And speaking about honors over the years, can you tell us about some of the honors that you've received over the years? Well, some I received, I received the International Women's Honor in 1998. I received the Shining Star of Pompano Beach. And then I was recognized as the first black to ever work for Harris Computer Division. And I was one of the 50 women back in 19, I think they told me 1999 or 80, that was still able to strain cores, magnetic bowls that run the uh, computer back in the day. Strain cores. Oh, so you were, you know what, as far as? Cord. What you did, it was, the, it was the brain of the computer. DCL pin 11. Mm -hmm. I built a prototype brain for that. The prototype brain for brain. It was, the board was here, and you would take those black round magnetic things. Uh -huh. Then I had magnetic wires, uh -huh. and I was supposed to strain them because two of them was the sense, and the other one was the navigator. Uh -huh. And you could not take them and miss them or anything. Miss they had to be done right. Mm -hmm. I was able to do that, and by doing that, I went to Canton, Ohio, for Western Electric, and the system had been down two years, mm. and some foreign country was getting rid of the, it's to close them out. Uh -huh. I fixed it, and they that wanted to know, <laughs> it went out, and I called back in, and in about an hour, uh -huh. I told them, I got your system running, and they said, you can't. That was my, that was a big accomplishment. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You've done some wonderful things. And we'll have to bring you back, because I know we've talked about it a lot, uh, and we have some more things that we talked about, because we even talked about how you became a reverend. So we're going to, I'm sure we have uh, more than enough for our Women's History Month. Well, we're, just show. Go ahead. I received, I was going to the Episcopal Church over here, and I just started praying for God is, mm -hmm. and I joined the, Church of God, Church House of the Living God, Pilgrim Ground of the Truth, I got to worship. Mm -hmm. And I went in and I stood it and I did different things that was qualified criteria as well. Then I became an exalter. Exalter meant that they were still teaching you their bylaws and whatever, along with the word of God. Mm -hmm. And that's how I become a rebel. Okay. And the next step was a rebel. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Um, but we thank you for being with us on this Women's History Month. We've been talking to Reverend Marguerite Luster, and we're going to have her come back because she has a lot of history to share, a lot of things to talk about in her life, and a lot of things to let us know more about this beautiful city of Pompano. Thank you.